It's Kim, happy new year. I wanna start doing some self-care Sunday lives as long as I, I can, I don't have any other conflicts. Um, so today's the first one. And I hope you're all doing well. I hope you have enjoyed the last week or so of uh, the holidays and just a slower pace. I really can relax once, um, once Christmas is over and you know no one else expects anything that I can take time to enjoy the lights and the decorations and the music and and reading um, some of my favorite uh, holiday poems or stories and um, so anyway I hope you have been well and you've been able to enjoy the last week or so. Um, I want to tell you first about this month's Well Soul collection. Um, the theme is Align, and that goes along with my Winter Vitality and Renewal course, which actually opens today. So um, the theme of the month is Align, and I created a um, roller bottle. Ta-da! Um, it, this comes out tomorrow, by the way. So, um, so I'm, you're, you're getting a preview. Um, the roller bottle and the diffuser blend both have the same, they're both the same five essential oils. So there's um, wild orange, cedar wood, Siberian fir, helichrysum, gymnocephalum, and black pepper essential oils. And I chose these because um, this time of year, many of us are reflecting and looking at, we're setting intentions for the new year. And um, so we need clarity and we need insight into our, you know, our lives and kind of what worked, what didn't work in the past year. And then motivation for, um, to carry out our intentions because a lot of times we have things that we want to do or ways that we want to be um, in, in our daily life, but then we can get distracted. So this blend is meant to help you um, find clarity and intention uh, and purpose um, and insight into what is it that I really want? What What is it? How is it that I really want to be and to how do I want to act and to um, respond in my life? So this blend consists of, or this, um, this set has the roller bottle and I have a diffuser blend and I actually have Queen Anne's Lace Flower Essence, that's part of it, and um, that's from my own garden, um, the edges of my garden, and um, this month's gemstone is a clear quartz. So you can find all of those on Etsy and my website tomorrow, um, tomorrow morning. Um, they should be they should be out they should be live by uh, eight or so um, Eastern time so look at look at look for those and um, then I wanted to share a little bit about self-care um, so have you ever done the word of the year it's not really a challenge it's just uh, you know kind of thinking what would be my theme for the year so and sometimes you don't know right away I'm I'm still working on mine. I have my, I'm going to have like a theme of the month, but I want to have like an overarching um, theme. And I, I think I know what it is, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to say yet because I'm still kind of, still kind of just letting that simmer in the back of my mind and my, in my heart and go, is this, is this what I want for my theme of the year? Um, so that's something, it's fun if you like words and you like to kind of give yourself, it's not a goal, it's just um, as you continue through the days and weeks and months of the year, um, you can, if that's one of your intentions to, like one of the years it was delight, actually I think that was two years in a row. And I think as someone who has a real strong uh, drive to work and to, um, you know, get things done, I was looking for opportunities in my days to uh, for for delight for joy so anyway um, what's happening with uh, what are some self-care tips that I can share with you right now if you're in the Northeast it's cold and if you're inside a lot your skin is probably dry so 
Ayurveda tells us to um, to balance things by applying the opposite. So if your skin is dry, you need to apply oil. And I recommend what I've been doing is actually putting oil on my like my arms and legs before I get in the shower so that it creates a barrier um, so that I'm not just like, you know, dried out by the end of my shower. And then I sometimes apply more oil after. That's how dry my skin is right now. Uh, obviously in the middle of summer, that would you wouldn't do that. Um, also apply oil inside just a little bit um, in your ears and in your nose. And that just keeps things from drying out. And it also just helps to ground us because um, vata, which is the dosha that's like wind, it's, it's um, air and ether or air and space, um, this time of year, it can get aggravated. So we can be more anxious. We can feel more, um, yeah, just kind of like out of the body, you know, like we need to, um, we, maybe we have trouble sleeping. We might have trouble with constipation even, just very, very dry and cold and um, kind of scattered and mobile. So uh, applying oil and also eating soft, moist, warm foods like soups and stews and herbal teas and oatmeal or buckwheat or some other kind of soft, warm breakfast grain. Um, so in my course, Winter Vitality and Renewal, I have, I, I'm talking about this more and I have a, a food list and some more recommendations, but to just get you thinking about um, how you can balance your, say, the dry that you have, that you're experiencing right now, you would do the opposite, so think opposite. Um, also, nettle tea is something that I am uh, drinking right now. I've upped some of my exercise, done a little more um, cardio that includes more high impact, and my joints are not happy at the moment. Um, it seems like in the winter that that also tends to be an issue where like vata rises and, and I have more joint issues. So um, I'm working on massaging some herbal uh, balm into my into my joints every day, a couple times a day, and also nettle tea. Nettle tea is uh, very help helpful for joints. So I'm drinking a couple uh, a couple cups of nettle tea every day. You can get nettle tea from, oops, from the grocery store, like traditional medicinal sells it. Um, you could probably just get a big bag of dried nettle and, uh, and um, just make it yourself. And also triphala, which is a, it's three herbs that um, are combined into, um, it's, a, it's a powder that you can buy. Banyan Botanical sells it. There's lots of places that sell it. It's an Ayurvedic herbal combination, but after we've just kind of eaten a lot of maybe heavy foods over the past couple of weeks and maybe a lot of starch and sugar and um, we may feel a little bit like we want to lighten up a little bit and um, so triphala is just very gentle. It's good for all, for any body. It's good for all three doshas or types and it is helpful to balance. Um, and also gently detoxify. It's a little bit uh, of a laxative, so you, um, so triphala will, you know, you have to go slow. I do like half a teaspoon of powdered triphala in my, in, in hot water. Um, usually once a day is enough for me before bed. Um, so yeah, so nettle tea for joints, triphala if you need to balance and detoxify after um, all the celebrating and uh, lots of oil on your skin. Um, I use refined sesame oil, um, you can use olive oil, uh, whatever other kinds. I think castor oil, it's pretty, castor oil is pretty sticky, but that's totally up to you. But some sort of vegetable oil that will nourish your skin, preferably organic, um, before a shower, especially because then you won't be so dried out after. Um, and yeah, oil your ears and your nose too inside, just, just slightly um, to help balance. The other thing I wanted to mention was this book, Belonging by Tokopa Turner that I have been reading this year. And um, I'm mentioning it too in my, in my course, Winter Vitality and Renewal. But I just wanted to read you a couple of passages. This book has really, um, it's been speaking to me. I, I've, I think I've had a lot, this past year, I've had a lot of, 
uh, inner healing happening. And um, so every chapter is about, you know, your shadow self, about uh, forgiveness, about um, dealing with, you know, the, the, the dark and the hard and the, the, the hurt places inside us and working through that. And she's just such a, she's such a gifted writer. It, her, her, yeah, her style is, it's just beautiful. Um, so I'm just gonna read you this one paragraph here, page 174. Our capacity for embodied pleasure depends on our ability to receive, which is like a muscle that can atrophy if it's been habitually contracted. A learned sense of unworthiness can act as a barrier against our well-being, keeping us from opening to the beauty that's all around us. Whether it's our ability to receive positive feedback and support or to expect things to work out in our favor, we may be distrustful of goodness even when it stands on our doorstep. But this doesn't have to be a permanent condition. With practice, we can learn how to welcome beauty and receive pleasure wholeheartedly. So that's an example of um, one of her chapters called Bearing the Pleasure and talking about just, um, yeah, like almost like having a pleasure muscle where we learn to, uh, we can accept it more and we can receive, we can receive pleasure. Um, so I loved that. And then she had this other, um, it was in the chapter on gratitude. I want to say it's, yes, gratefulness. Um, I also shared this with my program this week. Page 82. In the cultivation of belonging to your pleasure and well-being, gratefulness is the sun around which all other practices revolve. When you are genuinely attentive to life, gratefulness is the inevitable reply to all the things conspiring to endow you with their beauty and intricate genius. By showing up for the generosity of life, even in its left-handed forms, we are declaring our worthiness of it, or worthiness to it. When we allow the privilege of being alive to really penetrate us, we are participating in the holy moment of life's becoming. Gratefulness is the recognition of our belonging to that dance. Isn't that gorgeous too? Um, I've been cultivating my gratitude practice uh, in the last several months. It seems to go hand in hand along with um, some of the releasing and forgiveness, like inner forgiveness and healing that's been going on uh, in me. And um, gratitude is just, uh, it seems to be almost like a doorway that just like opens up so much more. And, and it opens up your eyes to see uh, so much goodness that may be um, you were not able to see or not able to see as well. So I wholeheartedly encourage you to um, practice gratitude every day, write three to five things down. They may seem like, oh yeah, but you know, the more you do it, it you kind of tune into even more, um, even more, more things, more, more detail that you can be grateful for. It's, um, it's pretty wild actually. So, okay, so th that's my little uh, uh, plug for Belonging by Tokopah Turner. I totally recommend that book for you this year if you haven't read it. And lastly, I just want to mention that Winter Vitality and Renewal is open. You can uh, go to the link in my profile and you can, uh, you can click on it and sign up today. I have four uh, pricing options. So depending on what is happening in your financial life right now, um, I've created an option that most likely will suit you. I also have a, um, you can enter to win one of five free spots in the course, in the program. Um, that is, you can also find that in the profile, in link in bio. Um, so you can just enter your email, sign up for Delicata House emails and be entered to win. And that contest goes through tomorrow night, January 4th, uh, basically 11.59 Eastern Standard Time. Um, so you can enter to win that, but if you just, you know you already wanna join. Uh, this this course uh, is, the, the Winter Vitality and Renewal is about working on aligning our intentions, aligning who we really are, getting to know ourselves again, reconnecting with ourselves. 
um, learning how to eat with the seasons because all of this works together. Um, you know, our mind, our body, our spirit, all of this works together. So if we want to work on personal growth and we want to work on, you know, um, forgiving or, or being more grateful, that's great. But if your digestion is really poor, you can't sleep at night. Um, you feel, you know, you don't feel well in your body, you don't really have a lot of bandwidth left to work on other stuff. And at the end of the day, you have no energy. You just want to, you know, I don't know, order a pizza and plop down in front of the, <laughs> the tube, right? So this is about working on all aspects, like everything is included, creativity and relationships and relationships to the earth and to people and to yourself and to food. And um, it's not a, you know, get thin quick or new you in, you know, in 12 weeks. It's, it's a journey. It's a wellness journey. And um, you can, you can get the support of, from me and from fellow students. And we're going to have our first coaching call next Sunday, January 10th. Um, so I encourage you to sign up. It is it going to be fun, I believe, and I've already had some good responses from the students that are enrolled already. Um, also, if you sign up and you get a friend to sign up, I will send you the, um, the Align Roller Bottle for free. So um, to help you align with your intentions and to motivate you to continue to live toward the desired um, way of living that you that you want and um, so anyway yeah I hope you will check out my course my, my program that you will sign up and certainly enter the giveaway uh, that goes till tomorrow night like I said and then align the well soul collection align uh, products will be in uh, my shop and on Etsy tomorrow and um, you can check those out. So I hope you have a lovely rest of the day and I will see you soon. Bye.